had a lead. They had a lead, and then down to the tie, and then they made the three plays at the end. Yeah, they did. Uh, Tawante Williams went in there and made a big time layup uh, late in the game. I think it would put them up th two or four, maybe. Was it two? So that was a big that was a big play. Um, running hook just put his head down and, ma and made a shot. And uh, we had a couple block shots, a couple uh, balls not 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 that we didn't pick up. Um, and uh, and then a huge travel at the end of the game um, uh, when it was a two point game. When it was a two point game. Okay. So um, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I'm gonna rehash this game in my head a few times. I'm gonna watch it a few times, and then. Uh, we just have to be better. Um, is it's unfortunate because we have a lot of guys that it matters to um, leading, starting with me. But you also got to start with yourself and uh, be better. So. You had a good look though. I mean, Booth had a good look on the three to put a tie up. And yeah. You know, the last shot was kind of a kind of ugly. But I mean, in that play, he had a good look. I mean, yeah. It really wasn't the best play. No, I thought he. I mean, I, I'd have to see it on film, but I think he had. I think he was wide open. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to Zeke again if I have to, um, and you know, and, and they know we're gonna go to Zeke, you know, or we'll, we got some uh, options to go. You know, you have a Cam or uh, even even Isaiah. Isaiah, you know, I'm really proud of Isaiah James and how he um, came in the game. I don't know how many minutes he played. Um, uh, eight, eight, fifteen. Great energy, uh, a lot of care. Hasn't been in the mix a lot. Had a great charge, um, and I'm not, I, I'm not mad at him. Had a big time. Uh, uh, what would have been an assist, and then Ty um, got fouled uh, with like a shot fake. Um, so he did some really good things. And then the last play, he he just missed it unfortunately. But I was I was happy with how we executed that. Uh -huh. 11, you be feeling good about yourself. Yeah. Why do you feel like it's like that? I mean, it might be because we're feeling good about ourselves. You know, I think there's a little bit of when you, um, uh, you, you need to. It's hard to act like you've been there before when you've never been there, and uh, it sounds coaching cliche. Uh, act like you've been here before. Act like you know they, you, you say that a lot, and you know historically, obviously, there hasn't been um, a whole lot of success. Uh, Division one era, obviously. Um, uh, there's been success in this in this in this great tradition with a lot of area, uh, other teams in this pro in this school. Um, so what we just have to do a better job of is understanding what's the next break the game down. Let's win the next three minutes. Let's win the next four minutes as opposed to going. Oh, we're up 11. Okay, um, let's just keep on. We have 18 minutes left. I think it helps uh, us figure that out or break the game down in terms of. Uh, Simplifying it for us a little bit. Um, just yeah, just it's a, it's a it's conference, all right. You know, we were down, you know, big at different times, and you come back and win games, you know, and, and things like that. So, I think in the first half though, when you when you started to pull away, turnovers you, you were forcing mm -hmm. turnovers. I think they had fourteen, and then you and only only forced six in the second half. Do you feel like yeah. do you feel like that's kind of played uh, in the transition yeah. game? Seemed like it, it, it would enable you to stretch your lead out, and then that wasn't that really necessarily wasn't there for you. Yeah, they did a good job. I thought of uh, getting the ball out and going, and it um, and then there were some times where I thought we didn't get back defensively like we should have. So you just aren't able to even have a a, a rotation for a steal, um, uh, and our activity uh, lessened a little bit. We had some different lineups where we were trying to figure out. You know who who is going to get in the passing lanes better and things like that. But yeah, that hurt us. That got us going. I think Cam had a big dunk. Um, you know, kind of kind of flipped the script for us a little bit, and then you know the game turned the other way. It's just a lot of times the lineup just gets going like that. I mean, and, and the basketball is a game. You only mm -hmm. can't do it that whole game. And, you know, and then what comes in is you have to start flipping back. And yeah, it, I mean it's. You know, when you're a when you when you've coached and, or grown up in it like I have, um, and uh, or even played, like if you just played any sport, like you just have to understand that the other team works really hard too. Mm -hmm. The other team wants to win as well, and not that we don't understand that, but just respecting the fact that all right, it's about to come. It's about you know, there's something that's going to be here soon because just like we were, you know, we. How do you withstand it? How do you withstand yeah. It? 
And that you know, and, and we were we were right there. Like we were down. I don't know what it was. Maybe eight. And then we came back and we had a. Uh, did we tie it? We might have tied her. Yeah. Then we tied it. Yeah, so I mean, you go right. I mean, it's just, it's, uh, it's just part of you know the game, and then it's just part of experience, and it's part of just stepping up and making some plays too. You have to, you know, as a player, you got to step up and make some plays, and as a coach, I gotta, you know, evaluate myself as well. Yeah, these four, four conference losses, and they're all one, two, three possessions. Mm-hmm. Does that kind of all play into what you were saying about act like you've been there before to win some of these? Close yeah, I, I, I think you know at the at the we are every day we go out as a team in practice and everything um we are building a resume for success and it's a blueprint for success that we're now you have a resume you have another game to reference and we have to understand okay what were the the successes and failures um to to understand where we have been and uh and sometimes it's not just like x's and o's sometimes it's not they're making a bunch of shots. Sometimes it's just like stuff's not going for you. And there's a bunch of different emotions and feelings that go on throughout the game. Um, and this was one that was one of those that uh, our guys really uh, were going to be able to reference again. There's huddles that we're going to be able to reference, uh, good and bad. One of the things I always wondered with that is when you're dealing with the analytics stuff at night, and I'm sure one thing you guys who finish a game is probably more concerned. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to score more and more points. That would be huge if I could score, do that the rest of my career. Um, yeah, but I mean, I joke with you, but but it, it's a good point. You, you you have to you have to have that finishing move. You have to have that finishing box out. You have to make that, um, you know, that you can't have a turnover late game. Um, uh, you know, unforced turnover. You know, if you're doing something, you need things to be to be out of aggressiveness, and. Um, and we're going to continue to learn that, and we're going to continue to be – I'm proud as heck of these guys. I love coaching these guys. It stinks right now that we, we're we uh, learning the way we are, but we're learning. And uh, we're getting better. That's the crazy thing. You know, you look at a lot of the stats and things like that where some of these guys have been. Um, we, are, we are better uh, as the season has gone along. Um, but we haven't you – know, you want to win a game like this tonight. Okay, coach. Thanks, Thanks guys. I appreciate it.